Okay, so I didn't get to see Sharknado during the initial the initial run. I got to see it on the, the repeat. Now you should by now kind of understand the premise of the movie. There's a hurricane that floods Los Angeles in the Hollywood and the Van Nuys area. The flooding also brings with it sharks. Sharks that even though they're in like two feet of water, apparently can be like four feet tall. And these are probably CGI sharks. But it's okay because Ian Ziering and his somewhat estranged wife, Tara Reid, are going to be there and they're going to help people fight off the sharks. Ironically, nobody else appears to be remotely concerned with the fact that there are sharks everywhere. And this has like, wait a minute, there's a hurricane that's bringing sharks. It's a Sharknado. It's going to be Sharkercane? Okay, so fighting off sharks. Okay, water spouts. Okay. Water spouts, kind of water tornadoes. Okay. So the water spouts are what, sucking the sharks out of the ocean to then... Okay, so now it's tornadoes of sharks. Okay. So okay, just randomly raining sharks. Okay. What? Why is it other cars are just kind of driving around? You, you, you see the main people in the car with like sharks flying and other cars just driving normally. So it almost seemed like they were having some sort of like mass hallucination when it came to the sharks. That they occasionally either shoot with shotguns or hit with baseball bats. Cut apart with hedge trimmers and chainsaws. But then how do they stop the three shark tornadoes? They break into a harvest or create a bunch of IEDs. And then while flying a helicopter, yes, yes, I know, flying a helicopter towards a tornado, which someone's ever been in a helicopter while throwing IE, IEDs in the tornadoes to hit the proper sweet spot with the right amount of pressure to disrupt the low and high pressure system, making the vortex motion to break that apart to stop your tornado. Logic kind of leaves for this movie. But the bright side is, this movie takes itself absolutely zero seriously. Which makes it work. It is one of those so stupid it's good sorts of movies. And of course watching the, uh, the later version, in the bottom corner people are just tweeting ideas for the sequel title, which will be in New York. So I'm trying to think how they will get sharks to be in New York. But I do of course picture that the fact you could do a, a shark tornado hitting the Statue of Liberty, which could probably be kind of interesting.